Welcome to a new planetary and seismic update. The critical planetary and lunar geometry that I discussed in the previous update on the 4th and the 6th of September unfortunately resulted in a devastating earthquake in Morocco on 8th September. If we look at the SGI graph magnitude 5.6 and larger, we see a huge clustering on 8th September. I estimated that the most critical time would be approximately from 5 to 7 September. We see the huge clustering on 8 September, including two 6 magnitude earthquakes. And again, unfortunately, a deadly earthquake in Morocco. My heart goes out to all those affected. Um, this was a really bad natural event. If we look at the history of Morocco, we do not see many large earthquakes. There have been deadly earthquakes in the past, make it 5.8 and also into the low 6 magnitude range, but a 6.8, 6.9 earthquake is really large. And since recording of earthquakes began around 1900, there has not been a large earthquake like this. We have to go back to 1755, November 27th, to see a similar size earthquake, which actually occurred to the north, and that occurred about four weeks after a really large earthquake struck off the coast of Portugal, uh, estimated 8.5 to 9 magnitude, that was on November 1st, 1755. I discussed the Azores Cape St. Vincent Ridge before, even in the previous update, because of the atmospheric fluctuation that occurred on the 30th of August recently. And I put emphasis on the Azores Cape St. Vincent Ridge because it can produce large earthquakes, major and even great seismic activity, and it has been remarkably quiet along that ridge in the last 45, 47 years. Whereas from the 1930s to the 1970s, there have been major and even great earthquakes along that ridge between Portugal and the Azores. So we can conclude that there is a relationship between the activity uh, off the coast of Portugal and earthquakes in Morocco. This time it started with a magnitude 6.9 and it is possible, I mean these are signs of building stress in the region and it is possible that it will not be long for a larger earthquake to occur along the Azores Cape St. Vincent Ridge. And if you are near the coast of Portugal, Spain or Morocco, you have to be aware of the danger that lies off your coast. There can be really large seismic activity and if that were to happen it will produce a tsunami and you have to be aware of that. 